Good morning, good people. Oh. It's Friday morning, you guys. It is. Oops, wrong blue. No, wrong windshield wipers. Oh, it's a nice 73 degrees outside. Fall is on the horizon, thank God. I've really been looking forward to fall. I'm just adjusting my steering wheel. But anyway, y'all, so happy Friday, first and foremost. Happy Friday. Um, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to an extension of the vlog. Sorry, y'all, I'm just getting myself together. We're out of groceries, so I guess I do need to get out. Um, y'all, let me tell you how I got scammed yesterday. I was on Walmart.com, ordered me some groceries. Now, mind you, I had never did this before, but like I said, I was being lazy. I was tired. I'm like, you know what? Let me give this a try. Let me go ahead and do this, you know, order all my groceries online, and then I'll just go pick it up. I think the pickup was for like tomorrow. Anyway, so I put all the information in. I selected all my groceries. I went to pay, y'all. And then a page popped up that said, sorry, like, we could not fulfill your request. So I'm like, what? Like, you know, stupid computers, all these errors. So I go back, and, like, my whole order was deleted. Like, I had never purchased anything. So I'm like, dang, you know, it just must have been a computer glitch or whatever. So I cooked dinner, and then I was like, let me go ahead and reorder all this crap. Because I was just annoyed the first time, right? So I go back. I reorder everything and something just said you know what this you know because when i went to reorder everything um like i said it had wiped me clean of everything like it was my first time doing this but then it has saved the card information so i'm like why would it save the card information if my order didn't go through so check the card order actually went through y'all so the money was taken but tell me why the money was sent to bentonville arkansas like a supposedly like a walmart pharmacy thing in in bentonville arkansas so i'm like what like i live in illinois like my you know bill or whatever should have went to the the location that i shop at at the walmart i started doing some research y'all tell me why it was a whole scam tell me why there are hundreds of other people complaining and testimonials where their card had been charged by some anonymous Bentonville, Arizona, or Arkansas um, place or whatever this is supposed to be. So long story short, I got scammed and I just like, how? I literally just wanted to order groceries. I literally just went on a Walmart website and somehow these people interfered and intercepted and got my money. So now I don't have any trust in the internet. <laughs> Now I have to freaking go to the store like I've been doing them. The one time, y'all, the one time I try to be all tech savvy and do it the lazy way, I get this shit. I gotta pay the consequences. So I'm just disgusted. This could have been taken care of. I'm trying to now dispute and resolve the issue. Um, and to be honest, it's not even my money. My sister on my dad's side was so nice to um get me the groceries so it's really her money she you know was being super nice and just said you know i'll buy you some groceries and she gave me all her information to pay for it over the internet so i had to call her and tell her look sis you might want to you know change your pin or you know just your information is out there now because this looks like i got scammed so i feel bad about that y'all and it's just like can't trust shit no more you can't do anything anymore over the internet like literally just trying to buy groceries and people are scamming and this is like it's crazy out here this world is trash straight up garbage y'all and i do mean garbage this world is just no good so i said all that to say <laughs> i got a grocery shop when i technically did it yesterday from the comfort of my home but now I got to get out in these streets and actually do it, which I was just trying to avoid, you know, one time for the one time. But now I got to go. Um, so I will see you guys probably at the grocery store. 
we all so i just left my aunts i've been there for about excuse me an hour honey y'all i'm in the hood i just came to this rice house that used to be here and i don't know if they're still there but it's boarded up but it ain't no sign and probably to get out the hood <laughs> This is a little scary. Things have changed since I've been over here last, though. And I want something to eat. I want some lunch. So I think I'm actually going to stop at this church's chicken. It should be okay. Actually, I shouldn't stop in the hood, though, for real, for real. I really shouldn't. I'm just going to be honest. But... and see oh no nah, baby just joking I'm not going here it's 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 too mm -mm. it's too many people it's too many males and I'm by myself and uh something's telling me don't be no food <laughs> don't be no food girl so I'm getting ready to head on back to the crib y'all to be honest I'm going home This is definitely a crack scene walking in the middle of the street. Oh my god, she's in all white, nodding all. It's time to go, y'all. Somehow we end up in the Chick fil A line. Hi, how are you? Good. What can I get started for you? Um, I'm looking real quick. I just want to see your salad, yeah. I've never had a salad, but I heard it was so good from salad. here. Oh, I love the salad. It's pretty good, yeah. Oh, uh, my yeah. favorite is personally the Cobb salad, just because it comes with a little, like, it's a little more like a traditional salad, you know? Right. And then we got the market salad, which is kind of more like a springtime, so it's got, like, the apples and the blueberries and stuff on it. And then the spicy Spices. Southwest is a little spicier. Mm, that one's good, too, though. Yeah, I was thinking that one or the Cobb. Um... Just joking. Let me get some nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna switch up today. And then I get Let there me get some like, nuggets. Yeah, good. Uh, the nugget meal, or yeah, perfect. Uh, medium fry. What would you like to drink? Yeah, uh, lemonade. Lemonade, perfect. Yeah. All How right. many nuggets come in there? Uh, I can give you eight, twelve, or thirty. Oh lord, I don't need thirty. Twelve. Do twelve count, or I don't know. Let me do eight. Eight. I won't perfect. be that fat today. All right. <laughs> I feel that. Alright, anything else for you? Or? Um, that's it, I think. That's it? Yeah. Any sauces with that? Yeah, the Polynesian, Polynesian. and then, um, you have barbecue? Uh, we do have barbecue. Yeah, well. I'll take those too. Perfect. the kind that he uses um he usually gets the bigger pack though i don't see it you're gonna have to settle for the four. Oh, wait a minute here's eight well they do have the eight pack we'll put that in the cart put this back and move on to the next thing actually do need some more lotion I'm gonna need some toothpaste all right so 
if y'all didn't know, I am very traditional. I'm not a fan of body wash. I have been using Caress literally for years. And I am attributing this to the reason why my skin is so smooth for the most part um, on my face. So I'm not gonna change it up. So that's what I use. And this man, oh, I'm talking about somebody that loves body wash. I swear he has five, six bottles of it, but always swears he needs more. So he said he's out. If you guys have not tried this, brand for your man please try it they have some amazing scents um they don't have the one i usually get the green one but this one is really good that smells amazing and then there's a green one i can't remember the name of it but it smells pretty good um i'm not sure what i'm gonna get him i might just get him this let me smell it just to make sure Yeah, I don't know. He might not like that. Perfect. Charmin, I think it's too thick. Um, but recently I've used this brand, just a great value brand, and it's pretty decent. It's actually decent, so I don't mind buying this. It's going down the toilet anyway, so I literally do not mind. Give it a try sometime, y'all. Give this a try, it's not bad at all. So these are all the items that I needed, you guys. This is very light compared to the usual. So let's get out of here. This is really good too. Matter of fact, I think I'll get a bottle for in the morning. We'll have mimosas with breakfast. And then, let's see. I'm trying to see, are they out? Oh, here it is, I passed it up. So this is what the bottles look like for this brand. Just depending on what wine you get they're winking owl not just owl the winking owl so i usually just get a pinot grigio and then they have a really good sangria i'll probably get that now not the sweet red <sighs> here it is here it is so these are two of my faves and then this mimosa, let's get up out of here. It's five o'clock somewhere. I feel like I've taken you out here with me a few times. <sighs> Y'all should be familiar at this point. Um, I'm not familiar though, so. Excuse me. Hi, right, can you show me where the Grand Marie is? Sure. That's all we need, y'all. That's all we need. Get in and get out, honey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, this is Okay. 
Seventy-six dollars. That's a no. <laughs> do I want to do forty dollars or do I want to do twenty dollars? <sighs> we'll do forty dollars, y'all. We'll do the little forty dollars or whatever. This should last us all weekend. We're really not big drinkers. We drink in spurts. We've been drinking forever. I mean, we haven't drank in forever, so. I think that's it, y'all. I just like to look and see what all they have. Kinky. Jägermeister. Uh-uh. I'm cool. I'm cool on that. I thought this said, thought. I was gonna say, when they come up with that? <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got what we need. This is gonna be the end of the vlog. I will see you guys later. I plan on starting a weekend vlog. Today's Friday, so when baby gets home, I'll start vlogging for this evening, tomorrow and Sunday, and hopefully posted Monday or Tuesday. See y'all later.